What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you a creative way you can lock individual apps with Face ID or if your phone doesn't have it, you can also substitute this with Touch ID. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the quick rundown. Unfortunately, this is not integrated with iOS. Apple has yet allowed its users to give us the ability to actually lock apps. We could do this with Notes, Notes where you could quickly type something, import images, clip notes and etc on your note app and you can actually lock that note and this will actually create a custom passcode or you could just allow face id to unlock the notes you could do the same thing with uh, files as well but we're unable to still be able to do this on apps native apps or even third-party apps but there's a clever way you could make it work so i'm going to go ahead and show you that so the apps involved is the shortcut app and the clock app we're gonna need these two they're native to the iPhones and they come standard by default but if you delete them you can always re-download them on the App Store now what we got to do is just go ahead and launch that shortcut app and on this page on my shortcut go ahead and tap on the automation section right here just go ahead and tap on the plus icon and let's go ahead and create personal automation and what we're trying to look for is the app so scroll down so you see app click on it so where it says app and choose, click on it and notice you could click more than one app. So if you have individual apps you want to block or have this lock capability, you can select multiple ones as you like. So as a demonstration, for video demonstration purposes, I'm just going to select, uh, let's do Instagram and maybe these two as well. Once you do that, tap done and then down here where it says is open make sure it's check marked right here now go ahead and tap next and where it says add action tap on it and then on the search bar on top just type in timer where it says start timer select this and where it says start timer for 30 minutes tap on the 30 and just click just type in one and where it says minutes go ahead and go to seconds and this is how it's supposed to look like once it looks like this tap next now on this page, go ahead and turn off ask before running, don't ask, this way it doesn't notify you that you won't let, if you would like to lock your device or the app as a fine example. You want to do it all automatically. So basically this will give you a brief summary right here of what it's going to do. So as soon as those apps are open, it's going to start the timer and then we're going to program the timer to close the app and lock your device. So just tap done and we're done. And right here where it says the automation if you decide for whatever said reason to delete it entirely or redo some of the stuff this is where you can actually go back and edit it but if you like to delete it just simply slide to the left it will give you the option to delete it right then and there so now you could just close the app and go ahead and find the clock application and go into the timer section right down here where it says when timer ends mine already is selected stop playing Make sure you select that to stop playing, hit set, and then move it to one second and then zero everything else like the hours and minutes and just keep one second. And as simple as that, it's set. Now whenever you try to open up the apps that we selected, it's gonna launch the app for a few seconds and it's gonna immediately lock your device, which requires Face ID or your passcode to unlock it. This also includes Touch ID if your device only has Touch ID. And that's it. That's literally how you can lock individual apps with Face ID or Touch ID if your device uses it. Now, if you're receiving a notification whenever your device, your app locks, that means two things. One, it means you have, if we go back to the shortcut app, if we go ahead and click on that animation, automation I should say, uh, if it says notify when running, make sure this is turned off as well because if this is on it will show you a notification now the second reason if you're still receiving a notification whenever an app locks on your home page uh, lock screen I should say it means you're not up to date on the latest iOS update so before you try this if you're still seeing this notification make sure you update your device and go to here and just turn that off this way it doesn't give away that it's the lock application that's causing these individual apps to lock up with face ID and the touch ID so, so long as you're on the latest version of iOS, you're perfectly fine now. Oh no, there you guys have it. Hope you got some good useful information out of the video. If you did, greatly appreciate it if you could actually leave this video a like, as it does help me out a lot. 
and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. It's like I have plenty more still to come. In the meantime, if you'd like to watch more, maybe you want to know how you could create custom ringtones on your iPhone for free, you can go ahead and watch that video as I recently cover all of that right there. And then the video next to that one, that is a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.